Saturday Social is powered by FIFA 22 with PlayStation. Only one place to start, Have mate. To. Steven Gerrard mm. is back in the Premier League. Unreal. Aston Villa confirmed it with this statement. Quite simply says, Aston Villa Football Club delighted to announce the appointment of Steven Gerrard as our new head coach. There he is. And the iconic claret and blue jersey uh, holding up new head coach mm. of Aston Villa. So we're going to lots of to dissect about this. Harry, firstly, from Villa's perspective, what do you make yeah. of the appointment of Stephen Gerrard? I think very good. You've got an exciting manager who um, has gone to Scotland, gone to Rangers and got a lot of experience. Um, got them their first title in 10 years. Mm. And you can see from the players, I think Jermaine Defoe said it yesterday, he was one of those managers that was easy to talk to. You can see the passion in the way he was as a player, but now you can see it as a manager as well. And I think um, it's a good test for him as well and mm. for the players. I think a lot of the players will learn a lot from someone who is arguably one of the best players in the world. So I think as a manager, he's proven himself. In a tough league, I know people say that Scottish football isn't the, the greatest, but it's not easy to go there and win a trophy. Um, and he's done that. So I think this would be a good, good appointment for them. I think it's a good point that you make about like, Jermaine. I've seen a lot of players, not just Jermaine, but talk about actually because of the experience he's had as a player, like how much they respect him in the dressing room. I think yeah. he's certainly going to bring that to Villa. A um, bit of the debate on social media in terms of what you do if you were Steven Gerrard. A lot of people saying, should he stay at Rangers? Should he go to Aston Villa? Obviously, uh, Harry alluded to it there. Won the season, uh, invincible season, didn't mm -hmm. he, for Rangers. They finished on 104 points. First time they won a trophy in 10 years. I don't know if you remember that him going through the streets. He was idolised by the Rangers yeah. fans mm. before that. Not anymore. So, yeah, <laughs> if you were in Steven Gerrard's shoes, what would you have done? Gone to Villa? Because obviously he had a great situation at Rangers, but obviously Villa is a huge football club as well and it's Premier League football. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's not easy because he could have essentially stayed at Rangers for a couple more years, waited till maybe whatever happens next with Jurgen Klopp and, and possibly make the move to, to Liverpool. Um, however... I think for himself to try and test himself now in the Premier League because if it goes wrong, that move to Liverpool might might mm. never happen potentially. Mm. Um, but it's good to see whether he can test himself, try and uh, prove his worth in the Premier League because if he does do well, his stock you know quadruples to be quite honest in, in, as, a, as a manager. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. I think mm. that you can play it safe for so long, but at yeah. some stage you've got to make that jump to the Premier League if you want to go on and manage Liverpool and. Is there a better opportunity than, than this Villa job? Like, it's an amazing opportunity. Mm. The only thing I would say is I've seen, a bit like you said there, the debate online about this sort of Rangers versus mm. Villa. I know that a lot of Rangers fans kind of extremely miffed that he's left the mid-season when they are in a, a, like a title battle with a pretty resurgent Celtic side. And lots of people kind of say, well, you know, the Villa job's the bigger role right now and other obviously the Scottish fans yeah, it's saying split, isn't it? Rangers yeah. is the bigger role what do you think is the bigger role in football the Villa job as it is now which is let's face it sort of mid-table maybe pushing up for Europa League or competing for league titles with Rangers I'd say Villa um, and the reason why I'd say that is because with, with Rangers yeah I believe that he's built something there there's an infrastructure there that he's set up um, like I said you know, the first league title mm. in 10 years. And you can see that these players have learnt a lot. Some of the young players as well from him as well. So I know the next manager that comes there hasn't really... Obviously, he's got big uh, boots to fill, but there's something set up there. With, mm. with Villa, the job is trying to get into Europe. And you know how tough this season's been as well. It's not going to be an easy job for, for, for Steven. And we've seen a lot of managers come and go this season alone. So I think it's a tough job. Villa are a massive team. You know, the history alone says a lot about how, you know, Villa and expectations for them fans as well. So I think it will be a hard job for him to do. But I do think he has got the credentials to be able to handle this job. I don't think it will be out of his depth for me. Yeah, I know what you mean. I, but the, another question I, I, I like keep coming back to that I see online is, is obviously Dean Smith was loved by Villa fans yeah. and he was a Villa fan himself yeah. and his dad was a steward, I think, at the yeah. ground. Said it was his dream job, didn't exactly. he? Exactly, and Villa. there's those famous images of him and Grealish, you know, yeah. when they're getting promoted, like, he got onto a League Cup final. Is Gerrard, like, right now an upgrade on Dean Smith? Like, because Dean Smith... He's got really good pedigree managing and bringing teams up. Last season, they finished 11th, produced a really like, attractive brand of football. Is Gerald an upgrade right now? No. No, to be, to be quite honest, no. Um, it's, it's a risk taking Gerard. Like We don't mm. know the level of, so. of what he's like. He had a very dominant team at, uh, at Rangers and also the guy, kind of other main competitors, Celtic, weren't that strong during that season yeah. as well. So he didn't really have his main rivals there. We don't know the level of, of um, Steven Gerrard. When he has been in Europe uh, last year, he was OK. This year, he's not been that, uh, that great in Europe with Rangers. Um, so it's, it's interesting. There's just so many unknowns. Like They could have now have got a manager who has the potential to be unreal. Like He's a modern-day manager. He wants to play possession-based football. Um, but 
if it doesn't work out mm. for him and for Aston Villa, it could be really, really bad. Well, what I will say is a lot of Villa fans are excited <coughs> about it, aren't they? When they're yeah. with all the names, yeah, they're for looking sure. at the exciting prospect that he is. I know a lot of Villa Just fans, yeah, that, that were looking at the various options, and a lot of them are very excited about Gerald. What, what do you think Gerald will make of the squad? Do you think he'll look at it and go, "There's a lot of talent there." Obviously, we all oh. know they lost Jack Grealish, who's, mm -hmm. you know, for many Villa fans described as irreplaceable, but they, they do have good players, don't they? Watkins, Ings, uh, McGinn, Buendia. Or do you think he'll look at that and go, "He needs to spend"? Um, I think he needs to spend defensively. Um, I think attacking-wise and midfield-wise, I actually think they're really, really well stocked. Mm. Um, as you mentioned, Watkins, Danny Yings, Bailey, I think it's really, really good. Ben Buendia they brought in. Um, and, and also uh, Ramsey that's coming through as well, midfield, he's yeah, really, really yeah. good. Mm. I think defensively they might need to, um, to maybe kind of fix up in some way. I think they've got, I think their attack, even though that, um, there's so many new players and they're, they're trying to kind of blend together, that, they will come good. Whereas uh, at the back... They are letting in a lot of goals at the mm. moment, and and that's even with Martinez, who's been fantastic yeah. in goal yeah, for them. Yeah, uh, maybe less so this season, re very much so last season. Uh, so yeah, I think they, if they do spend, it probably needs to be focused uh, towards the back end of the squad. Harry, what do you mm. think a successful season? Because it's interesting one with Villa, isn't it? Obviously, you mentioned they're eleventh last season. They're now sixteenth, lost five in a row. They're only two points off relegation places, which I think mm. a lot of people are surprised about, given uh, how they were last season. So what, what do you think a successful season for Gerard at Villa will be this season? I think a top 10 finish. I think if they can finish <clears throat> higher than what they finished last season, yeah. I think that will show the progression or the mindset of what uh, Steven Gerrard can bring to the club. Do you think he can achieve that with this, with this club? It's a bit... It's, it's, it's a punchy, thing. isn't it? Yeah, that it's is a punchy, bit, a top 10 cause, finish. Because, like you said, he's not upgrade for me from Dean Smith. Dean Smith, you could see, brought them from you know championship to yeah. where they are right now. They was amazing as well. The brand of football, like I said, was amazing. And to then change that to uh, the style of play that Gerrard is going to play is a bit difficult. I think we'll judge it after a few games and see how he is with the players as well. You've got an array of talent, like you said. And I think what Zach said as well, that for me, the defence is the main thing for me. How is he going to get them not mm. conceding goals is the tough one because I think they've got one of the best centre-backs for me in the Premier League with Ezri Consar and I think they need to build on that because the partnership between him and Ings I mean uh, Mings sorry hasn't been mm. this season as, in as particular, strong it's been a bit, as yeah. it's been before they got Twan Zibi on loan from United mm. he hasn't been playing as well mm. so I think if you can sort that out then we can actually start to say how it's going to work. The other thing that's been interesting this week as well is whenever we were talking about Gerard, people say, always use the phrase, is it a stepping stone for Liverpool? I heard Jamie Carragher, another pundit, say that's actually can be a bit disrespectful to Villa as well, obviously. Yeah. Because, but obviously, Stephen Gerrard is a Liverpool legend and yeah. he's, he's always going to be at some point linked with the Liverpool job in the future if his managerial career goes well. So yeah. do you think he's always got that in the back of his mind that that, that, is his, that is his dream to become Liverpool manager? Oh. Or do you think it is a bit disrespectful to Aston Villa when we talk about it being a stepping stone? I think he won't even say that that's the dream job, but we all know. But that. he thinks it, you of course no, he does. Sure, like, that's a Liverpool, he's Liverpool born and bred and you know he wants that job. Yeah. Um, but Klopp is doing an amazing job there. And I think he's not, like what Zach said, he's not going to waste his time. He's going to try his best to get to that level. So when it does come, if it does come, mm. he's ready for it. He's actually managed in the Premier League because the Scottish Premier League in comparison to Premier League is different in terms of the amount of quality of teams. And he has to learn that with Villa. And I think it will be the biggest test for him. And then we can start mm. to say... Is he worth... Yeah, because he could have just stayed in that... He, like, he was in the Liverpool coaching <coughs> centre. Let's not forget, he was he's coaching that under-18 side. If he mm. wanted to be safe and mm. play the real long-term, he could have yeah. just risen through yeah. the ranks slowly at Liverpool. I think it says a lot about him as well. Exactly. Yeah, 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 he's yeah, taking yeah. risks. Going to Rangers was a risk because yeah. Celtic were flying so high. He wasn't yeah. to know like Neil Lennon w was going to struggle out there. And then, obviously, he, he won, the, won the league so impressively. So, I think he's a risk-taker and it's come off. This... Not frightened of a challenge, is he? Exactly. Like, fair play it, to him, yeah. He's 100%. This is the next stage of risk, I would say, because mm. the Premier League is so competitive right now. There's so many good teams mm. and to break into that top 10 when Brighton are playing like they are, Wolves are playing like they are, Tottenham are resurgent under Antonio Conte, you'd think is going to be is going to be difficult. Uh, mm. I did want to bring up a couple of tweets that I saw on social media <laughs> about this though from, from Sky Sports presenters. We're starting with Mika Richards who <laughs> <laughs> tweets in, I want <laughs> Caro is going to protect Gerrard like Neville protect, protects Solskjaer. Lots of emojis, but that's not my business with a little Kermit. <laughs> yeah. And then Jamie Carragher replied, they should keep him as they've tried Dean Smith and Steve Bruce before so they're not going down that road again obviously referring to Gary Neville's yes. shouts that United shouldn't get a new manager because they've tried Jose Mourinho Lou Van Gaal mm. HP thoughts I think you know what well done to Michael well done because <laughs> well, look I'll say one thing I think with um, the managers that I've played you know and whatnot it's very hard to they will present this find it very hard to get onto them 
And I think with, with Carragher, I think he's just said it how it is at the end of the day. Like, when a manager is going under a bad spot, you've got to be honest and say that this is not working. Gary doesn't want to do it. For, he's a loyal man. Uh, probably, you know, more loyal than he should be. But, um, yeah, I think it's good banter, man. Nothing more, nothing less, you know. Yeah. There. there we go. Uh, yeah, right, just, just quickly, Zach, where do you think Villa will finish this season? Put you on the spot a bit. Um, well, I've made some mad shouts saying they'll finish above Arsenal. Yeah, before, earlier. So <laughs> I think me and Zach as long as they're above Arsenal, I don't mind.